changes taking place on and within the earth on account of internal and external processes which operate continuously in the form of an endless cycle. The internal forces are known as endogenic forces. The external forces at work on the surface are called exogenic forces. These forces act on the surface of the earth and are both erosional and depositional in nature. Disintegrated rock material is generated from solid rocks through the process of weathering. Thus, weathering refers to all processes that break rocks into smaller particles. Weathering can be observed anywhere, anytime. In this chapter, we will study the following concepts. Endogenic forces, azogenic forces, agents of denundation. Endogenic forces. There was only one continent called Pangaea. The present seven continents emerged when this single land mass split up. As a result, the oceans also got divided into five water bodies. The seven continents in order of size are Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Europe, Australia, Antarctica. The oceans are the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Arctic Ocean, the Southern Ocean. Plate tectonics. The lithosphere is broken into six large and several small blocks called plates. These plates move very slowly, just a few millimeters each year in different directions. The movement of these plates have been broadly classified into three categories, convergence, divergence and conservative movement. These forces give rise to several processes of formation of landforms which are best summed up under two main categories, endogenic and exogenic processes. Volcanoes The molten rock material of the earth beneath the lithosphere on which the tectonic plates float is extremely hot. This heat rises in the form of currents. Volcanic eruptions take place both on the sea floor as well as land. Some of the islands belonging to the Andaman and Nicobar Island groups of India are peaks of volcanic mountains resting on the seabed. Mountain Fujiyama in Japan is a good example of a volcanic mountain on the surface of the land. Earthquakes The plates of the Earth's crust are in continuous motion and the movement of these lithospheric plates produce earthquakes. The sudden shaking of the Earth's crust takes place on account of release of energy. Such occurrence of shock waves or seismic waves is called an earthquake. The point inside the earth where the earthquake originates is called the focus and the place directly above the focus on the earth's surface is called the epicenter. The scale that measures the magnitude or intensity of the earthquake is called the Richter scale. The earthquakes are measured from 0 to 9 on it. Tsunami Tsunami is a Japanese word meaning destructive tidal wave, but actually it is a seismic sea wave caused by an earthquake occurring on the ocean floor. It can also be triggered by volcanic eruptions. It causes a wave-like displacement of ocean water and causes great loss to life and property on the shore on account of the back action of the water which flows back to the ocean. Distribution Earthquakes and volcanoes are distributed all over the world, especially on the coastline, on the tectonic boundaries. Volcanoes The Pacific Ring of Fire Around the Pacific Ocean Across the North and South Atlantic Ocean Earthquakes Around Pacific Ocean Along the Indo-Australian Plate Boundary Eastern side of Eurasian plate, Western side of North American plate.